Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And this is a um, little look, advanced look, at what's coming in the next version of Windows 10. I get asked from time to time, so, you know, when's the next version? When will we all have it? What's in there? Um, so, first of all, once again, there's only about 6-7% of all of you that have the October 2018 update. So that's a very slow rollout um, that will probably go faster as we go through the uh, January. But we are right now testing out as insiders, as you see here, this is one build that was released um, last week, January 3rd, um, 18309. This is the next version of Windows. This is what we know as of now in the next version of Windows. Technically, it should come out sometime in April, probably for everybody. Um, insiders will probably get their glimpse of the finished product end of um, March. And, uh, well, it's a different way of doing things. Um, Microsoft has been focusing on adding tons of bells and whistles and all sorts of little things here and there that, honestly, you know, let's, let's face it, not a lot of people are actually using. But... There's been one lack of, 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 of a major lack of, you know, something called um, quality in the last two releases, the April 2018 and the October 2018, have had their share of problems. And the good news is that in 19H1, the next version of Windows, which, that will probably be called something like the April 2019 update, um, they've not added too many new features. They're probably concentrating a little more on the aspect of having a good product. Let's hope they do so because one more bad release would start to really plague um, Windows 10 quite a lot. So let's hope that they're going to concentrate on things that are good. Um, so what will the new features be like? Well, one of them is um, for ver the pro version and the enterprise, and that is kind of nice, is this sandbox mode. So here you see a desktop, and within there, there's a window with another desktop. This is the Windows sandbox mode that will be, of course, available in 19H1, apparently, where you'll be able to run uh, instances of software with a kind of in a, a prison or a jail so if you run something in the sandbox and something bad happens, well, you just close the sandbox and it won't infect the rest of the PC. This is kind of a virtual Windows 10 running here. Every time you close it, it restarts, you know, resets everything to zero. So when you restart a sandbox mode again, what happens is the sandbox is like having a fresh new install of Windows 10 every time. So this is kind of interesting. There are a few tweaks here and there of the different options. So, for example, separation of Cortana and Search. You see now that Cortana has its own little circle right here next to the right of Search. And Search is its own little thing here with a different way. So, you see here that there's different things showing up here. I can really in... understand you much better if I can get familiar with the way yes, you talk. Yes, I didn't ask. I need your permission to help. I didn't ask anything, please. <laughs> So uh, you see here, there will, like search results are different, uh, more spaced out, all sorts of things that you might search through the PC, apps, documents, or the web. Uh, things are being um, a little different. Uh, the start menu is different. It's uh, clearer. Now, I have removed the tiles, obviously, here. But if you do have tiles in your start menu, they are spaced in a different way, so it looks less cluttered. I wish they would understand that we have lots of tiles that are useless and shouldn't be in there, but, you know, that's Microsoft. Uh, new light team, as well as the dark mode, which is going to change things, of course. So uh, this is, uh, you know, these, these are a few little things that's happening. Um, of course, new options, new things happening. So here I've got a problem you see here with the, uh, the buttons, but this, the action center is... Uh, basically pretty much the same here. Uh, one of the things, of course, they'll tweak a lot is the way that you have the different settings. You know, there's a new search setting here. 
there's uh, of course um, some of the settings that we're still in the control panel that are coming to this uh, place, including a lot of stuff that has to do with uh, ease of access, um, lots of personalization availability for you know the different size of uh, your mouse pointer colors and stuff to help out. So you know there's all sorts of little tweaks here and there. One of the things also password list pass, password list. Uh, accounts, which means you can use your phone or use a device to uh, log into your Windows without having it, um, you know, entering a password or anything. You'll be able to to use a phone, for example, stuff like that. You know, little tweaks here and there of snip and sketch and the different apps. Also, more apps, more core apps that you can actually um, basically just remove or uninstall. You know, some that you couldn't before. So they are changing that uh, new troubleshooting system and the diagnostics to uh, kind of give you a set of fixes as they're tweaking also what's happening within Windows Defender. So there will be new set of information on, um, you know, maybe a driver problem or anything uh, that's happening with uh, your system. So tweaking of, of course, the Windows security panel a little bit. There will be, um, you know, changes to the clock and the way that you can sync the clock uh, manually to keep time. All sorts of little uh, things, including, you know, the uh, famous um, on-screen keyboard and the emojis and all sorts of little things like that that are new that uh, will be interesting. Of course, tweaking of the famous uh, features that um, are the Fluent design, more fluent design to come, and uh, blur effect on the lock screen. Uh, so all sorts of little things like that. And, um, you know, not big changes, honestly. What you see here is that the changes that are being done in 19H1 are minor. And I think that's a good thing because they'll be able to concentrate a little more on quality and have things work better. So, uh, you know, that's what's pretty much going to happen. In 19h1 that's what we know right now i don't expect to have really many more features because we're getting close to the testing range of that we're also getting into the uh, first bug bash for insiders so testing out of you know the build of windows 10 and what's to come so that's where we are at not a lot of new features hopefully they're going to have it right and they're going to have a good build that won't have too many problems that roll out that's mostly what we kind of want to ask Microsoft to do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.